Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Ruby. This is volume 4, chapter 7, Punished. And so we're already halfway through this volume. Uh, last time, uh, Team Ranger came across Tyrion, or Tyrion rather, tracked them down. And Crow intervened at the last second to save them. Uh, don't know, I, had, I said I originally had a bad feeling about Crow, uh, where it was kind of like a serious black situation where he might show up just to get killed. But now that I think about it, it's a little too close to when Pyrrha just died. I, I think... I'm not still reeling from that, but it's too soon to kill off another major character, I think. So hopefully we're safe. Hopefully uh, Crow can take on Tyrion. I don't know. Crow seems very powerful. We'll see how this all works out. Uh, let's get... Let's check it out. Be ending. Story. Rose glory. I think I saw a bit of more of uh. Blake's mom's like wrinkles here this time around. <sighs> I forgot this guy's name. We can do it's just live by day. Where is the turning of the tide going to start? It feels like we're still on our heels. Uh, our team hasn't regrouped yet. They might spend the entire volume just... We might have a reunion at the end of the volume, but... Yeah. <laughs> what are we having? Doesn't matter. You're eating it. <laughs> I never agreed to these terms. It's part of the living under my roof contract. Read the fine print and come watch up. Hmm. Ozpin's here. We have to leave. He's Oscar. trying to ignore it. Oscar. I've decided you're not real, so you might as well just give up. <laughs> I understand how you're feeling. I went through the same panic and confusion. Someone did this to you? At some point? It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I can assure you, you were perfectly safe. I'm talking to a voice in my head. I didn't say you were normal. I said you were safe. <laughs> There's quite a significant difference. Shut between... up! You think this is funny? It's not. We are in complete agreement on that matter, I promise you. Believe me, I wish this weren't the case. But as I've told you, our aura, our souls, are combined. Huh. I'm done listening to you. Have you ever been to Haven? I told you I'm not going, and I told you I'm done listening. Do you think you could describe the headmaster's office? No, why would I know that? I've never seen... Try. Right now. <sighs> He's... gonna That's do it perfectly. Probably... That's... That's Sodom colored. Oh, is it gonna... A large mahogany desk. There's a small table and chairs in the corner for guests. With a tea set that... I... I gave him. Why did I say that? Why do I know that? Why did I say that? Because I helped build that school. And the tea set was a gift to the man running it now. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. If I recall, your aunt has several books on Mistral downstairs. I 
I'm certain you could find a picture in one of them. That, that's right. I must have seen it in a picture. Ah. Uh. Oscar. Stop talking to me! I have a grave responsibility to uphold. We both do. We never agreed to anything. No, you didn't. And neither did I at first. But you do have an opportunity. For what? Greatness, hopefully. Greatness in knowing that when the world needed help, you were the one to reach out your hand. It won't come without hardship, without sacrifice. But I know you don't want to live the rest of your life working as a farmhand in Misrule. Somehow so I knew he was going to say greatness. <laughs> I. Well. Invasion of privacy, much. Our thoughts. It's out of my head. His aunt's not hearing this. <laughs> unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Do you have any idea what your stunt cost us? I... And don't think I'm just talking about Lien here. Our reputation. Our... Our... Who cares? I want to leave. I beg your pardon? I said I want to leave. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay in Alice anymore. Young lady, I don't give a damn about what you want. This isn't about you. This is about the Schnee family name and your apparent insistence on dragging it through the mud. I have done nothing but fight to uphold the honor of my family name. A name that you married into. Ugh. Oh. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. This behavior of yours is incredibly disappointing. You couldn't possibly understand the lengths I've gone to in order to keep this family where it is. You think running off like your sister is going to make the Schnee name stronger? You're wrong. Siding with her only divides us. I'm not no. siding with anyone. I'm doing what I feel is right, and that does not include wasting my time up here with these clueless people in Atlas. The Schnee family legacy isn't yours to leave. It's mine. And I'll do it as a huntress. No, you won't. You're not leaving Atlas. You're not to leave the Manor Grounds unless I specifically allow it. You are going to remain here, out of sight and out of trouble, until you and I come to an agreement on your future. What? Your presupposition that you can simply have whatever it is you want is a clear sign of our failure as parents. But from now on, I'll be giving you the full attention you require. Starting by keeping you where I can see you. You can't just keep me from leaving. I can. And the staff here will make sure of it. So now I'm just your prisoner? You are my daughter. You're a child. And children are grounded when they misbehave. This is only going to make things worse, Father. People will ask questions. They'll want to know why the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company is suddenly nowhere to be found. Which is why you are no longer the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. Excuse me? Clearly, the trauma you endured at the fall of the wow. for you. Which is why you've generously revoked Asshole. Your its earnings. Pass them on to your brother Whitley. Then why even keep her here? Let her do what she wants. It's time to wake up and face reality. Showing more and more why she didn't want to call him, want to talk to him while she was at Beacon. Time to run away. Assassinate him, then run away. Whitley? Yes, sister? 
About what? You never liked Winter. You never liked me. But you've been nothing but supportive since the moment I came back. If being kind to my big sister is some sort of crime, then I suppose I'm guilty. Is he just sli as slimy as... Who wanted this to happen? His father. It's foolish not to do as father asks. I can't believe you. Don't worry, Weiss. The Schnee family name is in good hands. So he... Her father married into the Schnee... Family. Where's their mother? Something at the window? Oh. The shot made me feel like there was going to be something at the window. Time to jump out. Time to jump out. Let's go, Weiss. Where's her weapon? There it is. Time to go back. To your real family. As I live and breathe, Crow Bronwyn. <laughs> Bronwyn. A true huntsman has entered the fray. I don't know. This guy's weird. <laughs> no, this guy's weird. Pal. I'm not sure who you are, but you need to leave my niece alone. <laughs> Why, friend, my name is Tyrion, and I'm afraid that is not possible. My assignment from Her Grace was to retrieve this young girl. So, that is what I must do. One does not upset the Queen. Queen? Salem. Salem. Who? Huh? I think we've had enough talk now, R don't Ruby's you? Ruby's... The voice actress is so good. You took the words right out. <laughs> Come on, Crow. Wow. Whoa. Should the kids interfere or stay out of it? Stay out of it, probably. Don't come closer. Fine. Snipe. Snipe. Don't hit your uncle. Don't hit your uncle. He's so unpredictable, you can't, you can't get him. Oh. You missed! You missed! Oh. <laughs> Just the fist. Oh, go crow. He's landing more hits with his fist and legs than with his sword. Oh. <laughs> the crow is so cool. Just walking slowly. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's a scythe. That's his true form. Nice. Oh! She can't see in there. Oh. His aura took some damage. 
as the Tyrians. Ruby, did you wish to be taken? No, but I won't stand by and watch someone get hurt. Has her aura recovered at all? She just a liability? What did I say? Get back! This is my fight too! No, it's not that. It's it's, it's what? Oh no! Opening! Opening! It's not a death blow, is it? It's a... Oh, oh, damn. You bitch. Is he off balance because of it? Quickly take him, take him. Don't, don't, no. He, uh. Oh, shoot. It's not about the blood, it's a scorpion. Who was that guy? How did you get here? Why are people after Ruby? Uncle Crow, what's going on? What's your favorite fairy tale? What? <sighs> wow. Okay, these chapters are going by really, really quickly. Starting with Oscar. So is Ozpin in a different form now? Does he exist only in Oscar's mind? Or has is he just telepathically talking to Oscar? Um, it sounds like he went through the same thing before. Maybe his predecessor died and went into his mind. And now he's doing it to Oscar. Um, it's like a force ghost, but not corporeal. It's just like in someone's mind instead. This is really interesting. Uh, Oscar refuses to acknowledge him. And it's... Why him, though? We still don't know that exactly. Interesting. We have a lot of... Yeah, this, this story is getting really, really, really good. And, uh... I want to know about... More about this kid. Meanwhile... Uh... Weiss's dad... Strong contention for worst dad of the year. Honestly. So, her mother died, I guess, or is out of the picture. And... He took over. And some, for some reason he sees... Were they from a different marriage? Like, where it was Weiss and Winter from a different marriage than their younger brother because it feels like they have a mind like they have their own uh like winter and weiss have their own ideology and their own way of being whereas the son feels like he just follows in his father's footsteps no matter what and that might be because they're from different uh parents like they might have those they might be might, might be step siblings or half siblings or or something but I mean this guy seems I, I wouldn't put it past this guy to have killed uh, Weiss's mom to get all the power and now taking her <sighs> taking Weiss's um Eris, like her her, what's it the title of Eris away? It's a it's a very in, I didn't know that Winter had been excluded from that. I guess er, Winter was supposed to be the Eris, but she went off and did her own thing instead. And for Weiss, that must have been a very complicated relationship. We saw how she idolized Winter, but she also stayed, um, 
somewhat loyal, more loyal, I guess. I, I, I don't know if loyal is the right word. She stayed more in line so sh that she could retain the heiress title, and now she's been stripped of it because, I don't know. Of course, and of course he berates her for it making a scene rather than trying to understand what she's going through just the worst father just just the worst okay not the worst there are plenty of horrible horrible fathers but he is definitely not a good one <sighs> man and this little kid i don't know what his problem is they look similar enough in terms of eye color hair color so i don't know i guess they are it's possible, it's likely that they're full-blooded siblings, it's just, he grew up differently. For some reason, reason he never liked Winter, and he never liked Weiss. Uh -huh. At what point are you complicit, is the question. He's still a kid, but... He's a teenager. He should like at some point what at what point is the teenager responsible for his actions? Is I guess is my question. <sighs> okay. Let's skip forward a bit. So it looks like she's about to escape. Out the window, we saw the planes fly the ships, cargo ships fly by. I guess she could just kinda jump onto one and hope for the best. Off she goes. Tyrion. This was a very cool fight. Uh Ruby. Yeah, I, I I think she was a liability in that situation. She should have stayed back. Maybe continue sniping, because that doesn't put her in too much danger, but let's hope that injury to Crow isn't as bad as it possibly looks. Um, are scorpions able to grow their tails back? I'm actually not entirely sure. Maybe some... Let me look that up. Can scorpions... Grow back their tails. I typed that so incorrectly, but think. Now it turns out some scorpions can pull the same stunt, sacrifice not only their stingers, but also their ability to poop. What the heck? Uh. What? How? Why am I getting weird, super, super weird uh, search results? <laughs> How the scorpion lost its tail and its anus? What? I did not look up. What? I looked up, can scorpions grow back their tails? All right. When a scorpion performs aut autotomy, it leaves the final bits of its digestive tract writhing on the ground. What is going on here? What am I looking? What am I? I, I don't want to look at it. All right, no, forget it. I I'll assume it's possible for them to grow back their tail. Um, Tyrion is manic, it seems, but um, oh, he's such an interesting character, and his fight style is great. Crow, it seemed like a somewhat even fight. But they really needed to stay back. They were putting themselves in danger and thus putting Crow in danger. You could see that coming, for sure. Um, Ruby just didn't want anybody to get hurt on her behalf. But, man. They got his tail, though, which I'm not even sure I saw it completely. Oh, oh this was such a great moment. <laughs> yeah, look at his smile. Mm. And he's just blocking them with his tail, but... <laughs> Punch in the face. <laughs> oh. Crow is so cool. He just walks slowly over to his weapon. <laughs> so it's cool. It's good to know that they're on somewhat evil, uh, even terms instead of in terms of fighting ability. Oh. I, I forgot about this. It's a scythe, but we never—we didn't actually get to see it this time. Uh, I thought we were—we were about to, but apparently not. <sighs> the tail, honestly, honestly, it actually reminds me of Sun Sun Wukong, not Sun Wukong from this, but like Goku. This is what I think his fighting style is like. Like, it's playful. It's using his tail. It's. Like, in the, in the original Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. Um, it's unpredictable. It's all over the place a little bit, honestly. And we saw his aura a bit here. But we saw Tyrion's as well. Does, uh... So how long does it take for aura to regenerate? I don't, I don't remember if that we ever went over that. 
Um, it was a nice move by Crow earlier on just then, um, knowing that the roof was going to collapse and leading him to it. But yeah, this was not a great move by Ruby. I think he was... They're, they're so obviously outmatched that she needed to stay back. Uh, scorpions sometimes have poison. I know that much. And... Ah... Uh, who cut it off? Ruby? I didn't even see. Oh, it was Ruby. Interesting. Do you remember in Dragon Ball when Goku lost his tail for the first time, how he couldn't balance? He kept like falling over. He was so used to using his tail. I think I think he was. Uh, I think Tyrion was in that kind of situation now, and I would say go after him. But with Crow's injury, that takes priority first of all. Um, actually, no. If it's possible that there's a poison in there, poison is ingested, right? Venom. If there's a venom in there, it might be crucial to take down Tyrion to find an anti-venom or anti. Uh, yeah, anti-venom. Um, hopefully, he'll be fine. But now we don't know. Huh. One thing interesting is that Tyrion's a Faunus, and they have some animal, uh, like Faunus have some animal traits. Does Crow and Raven count? Do they count as Faunus as well? Because they can actually turn into actual animals. Or are they Animorphs? What's the name? Animagus? Is that the term in Harry Potter? And then there's Animorphs from. Uh, I don't know. It's a. T it's a. I think it was a book series back when I was younger. Anyway, uh, I want to see Weiss escape for sure. Um, I want to catch up with all their characters. It feels so weird still seeing them all separated, but it it does make for some good storytelling. I'll say that. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video for more. Uh, we are one week ahead over on Patreon, but leave a like. It really helps the channel and uh, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.